I'm Sarah, I'm a PT with Nuffield Health and today we're going to take you through a body conditioning workout. The workout is designed with a warm up, a main body session and the cool down. It's designed to improve all over aerobic fitness and work on increasing muscle strength. So the first part of the workout is your warm up. We're going to take you through a few different exercises with some light jogging in between. Each set of work is going to be about 45 seconds with a 45 second active recovery in between each exercise. Okay, so if you just start jogging on the spot, just nice and low to start with, just to start to increase your heart rate, get the muscles in your legs working. I'm going to keep going for about 45 seconds, and then we're going to go into a full, just a body weight squat. Okay, so you've got about 20 seconds left, so you can start to increase the height of your knees, start to bring in some arm movements. Okay, so for the last five seconds, and then we're just going to bring feet hip distance apart, and then drop down into a squat and up. So remembering to keep the weight through your heels, just come as deep as you feel comfortable to start with, and then as you go through the 45 seconds, just trying to increase the depth, going lower to the floor if you can. So there's about 15 seconds left. So you can increase the tempo if you need to, or you can slow it down. Okay, last one, come back up and then back into your jog. Again, start to bring up the knees if you need to. So the next part of our warm-up is going to be a reverse lunge. So once we finish this set of jogs, we're just going to come into feet hip distance apart, take a big stride back, sinking the back knee towards the floor, and then coming back into the middle. So last 10 seconds just here. Good, and then just bring it to a stop. So you just take a big stride back, sink down to the floor, and then bring your feet back into the middle. So this is gonna get us ready for the lunge section of your first exercise in your warm up. So you just, again, go as low as you feel comfortable. If you start to get wobbly, take your feet slightly wider apart and don't go quite so deep. About we'll 15 seconds left. And we've got one final set of jogging on the spot, and then a final set of push-ups. Good, okay, come back up, and then just jogging on the spot again, one last time. So by now, heart rate should be higher, you should be slightly warmer, and ready to start the main session of your warm-up. Okay, last 20 seconds. Okay, last few seconds just here, and then bring it to a stop. Come down onto your mat. You can either come onto your knees or your toes. We're just going to come down into a push-up and back up. So if you need to, stay on your knees, but try and keep your body tight, lowering your chest to the floor, pivoting through your knees. Or if you're on your toes, keep your core tight, squeeze your butt, and coming down to the floor. You've got about 15 seconds left. OK, 
Okay, stand up. Next, we're going to move on to the main body of the workout. We're going to take you through 45 seconds of work, followed by 30 seconds of active recovery. For each exercise, we're going to perform three sets, working through the workout consistently. The first exercise we're going to do is a squat and reverse diagonal lunge. Okay, so we're going to take a squat down, come up, and then take a step back, step back into the middle, take it over to the other side, and back in. So squat, lunge, lunge, squat. So we're just going to take you through this workout for 45 seconds. You can see just behind me, Mark and Amy are both holding onto plates. So you can do this to add some extra resistance to the workout to make it a little bit harder. You can also take it faster or slower as you need to. So just make sure that as you sit down into the squat and the lunge, chest stays lifted, back stays nice and tight, and you're engaging those core muscles all the way through. OK, last one. I'm just going to take you into your first set of active recovery. So after the first set of active recovery, we're going to go straight into the second set of those squat and lunges. So now what you know what you're doing, if you feel comfortable to, you can increase the pace. You have about five seconds left, and then we're going to go straight back into the second set of squats. OK, so taking the feet wide again. Good. So as you sink down into the lunge, again, trying to keep the chest lifted, taking a big step back, sinking the back knee down towards the floor. You've got 10 seconds left. Then we're going to move into your second set of active recovery. Good. OK, so jogging back on the spot again. And then one last set of squats. OK, last 10 seconds. So anytime you need to, you can slow down the, call, the recovery set by just walking on the spot with Jenna. OK, so last set of squats, feet wide, reverse lunge, and squat. So don't forget, if you need to, you can increase the pace. You can add weight to make it harder, or you can slow it down. We've got around 20 seconds left until we start the next exercise. OK, take an active recovery again. So the next exercise you guys are going to do is a push-up. So you did the push-up in the warm-up. We're going to take that on a level and do three sets of 45 seconds again. So for you guys watching, Jenna's going to take you through the regressed version. And there's going to be a variety of options you can choose for the push-up. OK, so coming down onto the floor. I'm going to start with the hands underneath the shoulders, either on your knees, coming down to the floor, bracing the core and squeezing the glutes. Or you can come onto your toes for exactly the same movement, bringing yourself as close to the floor as possible. So you can see Jenna and Sophie doing the regressed version on the knees. Mark at the back doing the full push-up on his toes to make it slightly harder. You can pick whichever option you want to make sure that you can get the most out of the workout. OK, jump up. Active recovery again. So jogging or walking on the spot. So remember, you've got two more sets of these guys. 
So if you need to, take it easy for the first couple of sets and then try and increase the intensity for the last set. Okay, we're coming up for the second set now. Okay, so back onto the floor for your second set of push-ups. Again, onto your toes or your knees. If you're on your knees, try and focus on keeping your body flat and straight and pivoting through your knees rather than leaving your bum in the air and just dipping your chest to the floor. If you're on your toes again, just again trying to come as flat as you can to the floor with your body in a straight line. Okay, it's the second set done. So stand up again, either take a walk or run on the spot. You could also use these recovery times to grab some water, just walk around, towel off if you need to. Okay, so last set of push-ups is coming up. You've got about 10 seconds left to just keep moving. Okay, last set of push-ups, guys. So this is the option for you to go, just go a little bit harder if you need to, by either increasing the speed or increasing the intensity of that move. So again, all the time trying to get hips and ribs in line. Chest comes as close to the floor as possible. And you can see Matt at the back here, nice strong position all the way through. So he's coming flat to the floor keeping his core nice and tight and engaged. Got around 10 seconds left. This is your last set of push-ups. Okay, stand up, take a walk, or jog on the spot. So, our next exercise, exercise number three is the alternate leg forward lunge. So again, Amy to my right, Mark to my left, are gonna be using a slightly increased intensity for this by holding onto a plate at the chest. So for the lunge, what we wanna make sure that we're doing is standing with our feet hip distance apart, gonna face the side, take a stride forward, sink the back knee to the floor, and then push back to your starting position. So you can go as deep into the lunge as you need to, but remember to take a big stride forward so you don't compromise the angle at the knee and cause pain. So again, if you want to regress this version slightly, you can step, sink, stand up, then push back. And Jenna's showing you this variation now. So you break it down into stages instead of doing it all in one movement. You've got just a couple of seconds left. Okay, first set of active recovery. So again, walk or jogging on the spot. Shake the legs out if they're getting starting to get sore. You've got another two sets of 45 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds to go to your second set of lunges. Okay, back into the lunge position and straight back into it. So again, if you need to, make this harder by adding resistance, either with a plate like the guys are using or you can use a barbell or dumbbells down by the side too. You can increase the speed, you can slow it down as well. Just remember to keep your chest lifted Push through the heel of your front foot to come back to the middle. We've got about 10 seconds to go, guys. You're doing really well. Good. Okay, back to your active recovery. Either jog or walk. 
Just got one set of lunges to go. And then one last exercise to finish off. Good, so you can start to increase the intensity of the active recovery by bringing the knees higher or working in the arms too. Okay, so last set of lunges. So really try and focus on technique. As you start to get tired, likely to get slightly less strong for your core. So there's a tendency for you to be able to wobble. So brace your core nice and tightly. Squeeze the muscles in your butt as you stand up. And try and keep your chest lifted. It's really good work, guys. You're nearly there. Good. Okay, one last set of active recovery in this block. And then we're going into jump outs. So for the next exercise, we're going to take a jump out onto the floor into a full plank position and then jump straight back in and stand upright. So you're going to stand feet hip distance apart, bend down to touch the floors, jump both legs out, jump in and stand up. So as you jump out, try and squeeze your butt muscles and brace your core so you don't let your hips sink to this floor. If you need to take a regress version, step out and jump in, or step out and step in. And Jenna's gonna take you through these regress versions, keeping the core nice and tight all the time, and keeping the shoulders directly over the top of the hands. Got about five seconds, guys. Good, okay, first set of active recovery. So 30 seconds just here. Again, if you need to, slow it down to a walk. Or you can increase the pace into a jog. Good. Okay, second set coming up. So feet wide. Jumping out. In and standing up. So if you want to make this one harder than just the normal version, as you jump in, you can jump up, send the arms above the head, and jump the feet off the floor. Don't forget that regressed version, stepping out and stepping in. Okay, second set of active recovery. One more set to go, and then you're nearly done. Okay, 10 seconds to go, then your last set of jump outs. Okay, very last set of jump outs. So again, pick the variation based on how you're feeling now. If you're starting to tire, you're gonna go with Jenna on the slightly easier version. Still should be a challenge though, it shouldn't really feel easy. It's just a step out and either a jump or a step back in. For the harder version, you can leave the floor with a jump and the arms go overhead. Don't forget to squeeze your glutes and brace your core as you jump out though. Okay, last set of recovery, just take a walk or a jog. 
So the very last exercise, a plank hold shoulder tap. So we're going to come down into a plank position with the arms locked out underneath your shoulders and just gently alternately tap each shoulder, opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Okay, come down onto the floor. So the hardest option is legs out straight, hands underneath your shoulders, and then gently tapping alternate shoulders. So Jenna again is gonna show you the regress version, knees down onto the floor, body's still very tight, so you're not letting your hips sink or lift to the ceiling. You can increase the intensity by increasing the pace as long as you can keep really still and really tight. Good. Okay, first set of active recovery. So take a jog or a walk. It's important to keep the heart rate high, but as we're coming to the end of the workout, it's gonna be slightly lower than it was right in the middle. Should all hopefully be feeling warm, heart rate nice and high, and feel like you've had a good workout so far. You've just got two sets of 45 seconds to go. Okay. Second set of shoulder taps. So again, hands underneath the shoulders. Pick your option either on your knees or your toes. So if you're feeling a little bit unstable, you can bring your feet wider to create a stronger base of support. If you're feeling super strong, bring your feet closer together and then try and resist that rocking sensation that you get as you lift one hand and switch. So you can see over here, we can increase the pace of the workout by just changing the speed that the hands release on the floor. Or we can slow it down to make sure that the core stays really tight and that she's really stable in that workout. Good. Okay, second set of active recovery. Stand up and then just take a jog. So this is your last set of active recovery. You've got one set to go of the shoulder taps. And then we're gonna take you through the cool down. And then that's the end of your workout. Okay, last set. Back down onto the floor. So this is your last work set of this workout. So if you can, you're gonna try and increase the speed of those movements whilst making sure that you stay really stable. So you can see feet are slightly wider so that she's more stable in the workout. Knees are down on the floor. So a slightly, slightly less intense version of the exercise. And then over here you can see Sophie slowed down the movement to make sure her core can stay as strong and stable as possible through the whole workout. We've got around five seconds to go. Okay, so for the last one, just stand up. Just gently walk on the spot. So you can use this opportunity to grab some water to towel off before we go through the cool down. last thing we're going to do is take you through a cool down. I want you to start by walking on the spot nice and slowly, just getting some movement into those legs again. Then I'm going to take a big shoulder shrug up, roll the shoulders backwards. You can continue to walk on the spot if you need to. So just six or seven shoulder rolls backwards. And then we're going to reverse the movement and roll forwards. So you can come to a stop if it feels easier for you to move this way. Good, and all you need to do is reach up overhead, big stretch backwards. Good, take your feet slightly wider apart so they're about hip distance apart and you can tip forward, hang down towards the floor. And then slowly roll all the way back up, reaching up to the ceiling again and overhead. 
and then very gently tip to one side. So you should be able to feel a stretch all the way down one side. And then over to the other side. Good, back into the middle and relax. Good work, guys.